I've been to India many times, but I want to share with you an amazing opportunity I've been given to return there and minister in villages and slums throughout three major cities in India. I'll be leaving in just a few weeks, and I'm going to take a film crew along with me to document our time of ministry, the dream interpretation and teachings that we do, as well as the powerful works of the Holy Spirit. This mission trip will include stops in Jaipur, Mumbai, and Bangalore. The first step of our two-week mission trip will be to Jaipur, where we're going to be meeting up with John and Sarah Urich, missionaries and teachers of Streams material that I've known for quite some time. John and Sarah have a girls' home in Jaipur, and we're going to be meeting those girls as well as seeing the facilities where they raised and school these children. We're going to also travel to dark, dark areas where many of these girls were rescued, and we're going to show you some of that footage as well. I know you're aware, and you've probably seen pictures of the incredibly poor street children of India. If you've ever wanted to give to them but didn't know how or didn't trust, the, didn't know how to trust the, the, the ministry that you were giving to, this is your opportunity. I want you to be able to see the faces of these children when they see the new environment, the girls' home that they live in, or even receive a hug when they're not used to that at all. There's a biblical principle that I think you need to be keenly aware of because it applies to you and to anything you might be able to help with this ministry. When King David left Ziklag to retrieve his family and belongings, there were some who stayed behind, but they still shared in the victory and enjoyed the spoils of that journey. That's what is going to happen to you. It's true for you as well. Give what you can knowing that every bit of it will go to help provide for these precious children and launch this needed training center there. While some training centers are self-funded, others like Jaipur and Hong Kong aren't. And if you can help us with this endeavor, please just write India in the memo of the check or in the comments box at the checkout here online if you'd like to give online. I have a video that John and Sarah produced that will introduce their ministry and let you know how Streams will be partnering with them to teach local pastors and leaders about dreams, visions, and the supernatural things of God through a new Streams training center in Jaipur, India. Every penny that you give will go to India and to this girl's home and to their outreaches that we're going to be doing there for God's glory. Hi, I'm John Urich, and this is my wife, Sarah, and we are founders of Light to the Nations Fellowship. We've been actively involved with the Bridge Association of Churches, and we wanted to tell you a little bit about ourselves, about our calling to the city of Jaipur, and about how Streams and the ABC have impacted our lives. In 1995, we were praying through the gateway cities of the 1040 window. We prayed for this city, that city. When we got to Jaipur, the presence of God fell on us and it's like he shut everything else out. And we heard his voice speak to our spirits and we knew that we were called to Jaipur. It was later that we learned that Jaipur is one of the least reached cities of India. This is a shot behind us of the city of Jaipur. This is the overlook, which is home to six million people. The city is the capital of Rajasthan, which has more than 50 million people in it. And out of that, 80% of them have never heard the gospel message and do not understand that a loving God died for them. Sarah and I have lived and worked in Jaipur since 1999. We had five years of self-effort, which ended with the dark night of the soul. <laughs> it was at that time that John Paul Jackson and Streams Ministries came into our lives, and also a supernatural experience with the Father's love. Yeah. The art of hearing God impacted me, so did understanding dreams and visions, and I was able to bring the cassette tapes back to India so Sarah could be impacted too. We were so hungry for a life led in the spirit, in peace and genuine relationships. We listened to the cassettes and the stream CDs, the fireside chats, almost every night. In 2005, I finished teacher's training, and Streams also sponsored the translation of the art of hearing God into Hindi. 
I started teaching leaders and Bible schools and fellowships in Jaipur. In 2010, I also finished the teacher's training for the Art of Hearing God, so now we are teaching it together here in India with the local language of Hindi. We are presently preparing a mini dream interpretation course to be taught in the fellowships and the Bible schools in Hindi. We hope to eventually translate the entire course, Understanding Dreams and Visions, into Hindi as well. We are excited that John Paul Jackson is coming to Jaipur in January. We know that the leaders and this region are going to be impacted by this visit. As well as training and equipping leaders and seeking regional change, another ministry that is very near and dear to our hearts is rescuing children from the enslavement of poverty and homelessness. In India, there are 18 million children that live on the streets. Children living on the streets are extremely vulnerable to exploitation and victimization. Girls living on the streets are especially vulnerable to forced prostitution and other forms of child labor. Malnutrition, lack of education, lack of medical attention seals these children into a life of poverty and abuse. Without the help of God and His people, street children have no opportunity for security, protection, and hope. And above all else, they have no opportunity for the love that they so desperately need. Every human being is especially designed by God to receive love. God designed the family as his instrument to impart love to the children. In a family style home, the children can receive love from loving parental figures. And after six months or so, surrounded by love, they begin to transform. They actually begin to realize the truth that God loves them and has a great plan for their lives. Because of our love, to transform children's lives, we're opening this new girl's home. Come on in and we'll show you around. Welcome to the dining room. This is where the girls will be eating and studying and playing games. These are the beds that the girls will be sleeping in. Bunk beds with a ladder. And each girl will have her own cabinet for her own personal belongings. This is where the house parents will live, who will be imparting love and security to these girls. There is very little prophetic and charismatic material available in this area in Hindi for the pastors and the leaders. The body of Christ will be greatly strengthened here if we can translate this material into their local language. We are so grateful to be a part of Streams and the Association of Bridge Churches. Our connection with each other is truly powerful. God changes lives and destinies with the synergy of all of us working together with a collective vision for missions. Thank you for taking time to get to know us a little bit better. And to pray for us. Well, John and Sarah are great and they are an amazing couple. I, they have so much energy as you can, you can probably tell. They are really great. Uh, so as, when I'm on this trip, I'm also going to be traveling to Mumbai and then on to Bangalore where we'll be teaming up with other ministries there to do outreaches in the villages and small churches in the area. Thank you again for praying, believing and supporting this ministry. A lot of what we do, I know, flies under the radar. We don't publish it a lot. We don't talk a whole lot about it. And, and that's really fine. I feel like the Lord's led us in that direction. And, and I know that God knows. But at the same time, recently, the Lord has been reminding me that if I don't ask for help spiritually through prayer and through financial giving uh, with your donations, I'm really not giving you the opportunity to reap a blessing and to share in the harvest that God wants to bring there. So please, if you can, donate to this upcoming mission trip to India. If you can't at this time, that's, that's fine. Think of us in the future. We're still gonna be going back there often. But either way, 
pray. Pray for signs, pray for wonders, pray for miracles and healings and the transformation of lives that can be turned from the 3,500 recognized gods of India to the one true God that you and I serve. Pray for protection and that the kingdom of God will be advanced by the destruction of evil wherever our journey takes us. May it be so, in Jesus' name, amen.